Speaking of teenage girls, guys, uh, when is the valley girl accent going to die already? Yeah. Seriously. I mean, why do, we, why do we just let our little girls running around talking like they're stroke victims? I don't get this. And I've done research. We are the only country that has to put up with this. You're not going to go to Russia and find it. You're not going to go to Mexico and find a little teenage girl saying, Yo quiero mas queso. <laughs> rich people too, you know? Or really, any women you meet in Los Angeles. I can't stand it. Uh, another thing about people in Los Angeles that I, that I cannot stand is that they're constantly making up fake problems. Have you guys ever noticed this? They're like, oh my god, I chipped my nail and I just had my nails done like five days ago and I have a dinner tonight. A dinner. This is the worst day of my life. This is the worst day of my life. I'm like, you know what's only slightly worse than having your nails chipped? Genocide. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, people, you know, people need some real problems in their lives again. I feel very passionately about this. Like, what if we reintroduced cholera into society? <laughs> you know, then people would have something to complain about, right? Except for poor people. Poor people do not need more problems. Rich people could use a little cholera, though. <laughs> <laughs> Rich people will also go to like insane lengths to live like pilgrims. Have you guys ever noticed this? They'll spend thousands and thousands of dollars on all this natural stuff and then they will judge you if you don't. You know, they're like, I'm sorry, what? You use Neosporin? I make my own using 100% certified organic, non-GMO, naturally dried seaweed, tree bark, and mummy. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, all of those ingredients would probably kill me. <laughs> the infection would be gone, then I would be dead. It's like the only thing that I can eat is plastic. Right? <laughs>